The wreckage of war comes to the peaceful British seaside town of Clacton. By a fantastic twist of fate, this was no deliberate attack, but was caused by the power of our own defences. For the Nazi plane that crashed in Clacton was crippled. Its pilot was looking for a landing ground when he struck the rooftops of the houses and crashed. For a few seconds there was silence, and then the mighty explosion of his cargo of death killed every member of the Nazi crew and two peaceful citizens of Clacton. It injured more than 150 others, demolished 50 houses, and left one part of Clacton a wreck within a wide area of where the Nazi bomber fell. Here was the first real test of Britain's civilian defence forces, and they have come through magnificently. Had it not been for the wardens, the auxiliary firemen, the first aid and ambulance services, many of the injured might have died where they fell. So here is proof of the preparedness of Britain. Even this terrible accident has served its purpose. The German machine, believed to have been carrying murder mines, brought death and destruction to Clacton. But Clacton was ready. <laughs> <laughs> 